Uh, welcome or welcome back on C-Square. In this video, okay, we're going to take a look how to evaluate roots. And first of all, we're going to take a look at this type of problem when they ask us to find all real roots of each number. So here we have uh, real roots. I want you to pay attention. Real cube roots, you'll see what that is, and real four roots. Right. For that reason, I'm going to show you these three tables right? for, for real roots. I'm going to use this table. Cube roots, this table, and this is for four roots. Um, and you see, they are very simple tables. You can create them, put them somewhere on, the, uh, on your desk and use them. I think it's very useful to use this method instead of factoring. So here, find all real roots of each number. We're looking for a number. That raised to the second power is 225. Right? Unfortunately, that number is not here in the table, but it's not a complicated one. You can square this. 225. So basically here we're going to put 15. And one of the root is 15. Yeah, one of the root. This is called the principal root. But we have another one, negative 15. Okay. Uh, here, similar, we're going to have uh, what raised to the second power? It's 0 0.0049. What do you think that is? Since we have this 49 here. Obviously, that would be 0 0.07. So, one root is 0 0.07, the other one negative 0 0.07. Principal root and negative root. Right. The similar of this problem, what raised to the third power is negative 64. Right. In this case, I'm going to use this table, right? Uh, the one right here. Or you can see, hey, 4 to the third power is 64. So, what do you think is going to be need to be raised to the third power to get negative 64? That is negative 4. Okay. So, that is the only answer in this case. We don't all have a positive root. We have just this root. Uh, what about this one? This one is a very interesting one. Some of you may notice that this fraction can be simplified, but let's leave it like that because we see here what? 3 to the third power, 27, and we see this to 16, which is not here in this table. Well, 6 to the third power is to 16. So basically, now we kind of know that uh, negative 3 to the third power is 27, and then we have 6 to the third power is to 16. So, uh, basically, that is the answer. The only thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to simplify. So the answer for number 3 is negative 1 half. And again, like I said, it's just one root in this case. Okay, let's go on number 4. Well, like I said, we're going to use this table. Here is a very short one. Uh, unusual when the uh, root becomes larger and larger. I mean, the table is shorter and short. What number? raised to the 4 power, because we have 4 root, is 81. Obviously, that is 3, so that is one of the root. Again, be careful. And negative 3. So, uh, you notice whenever we have an even root, sec second root, square root, in other words, 4 root, 6 root, 8 root, we have two roots, a positive 1 and negative one. Okay, What about this one? 1 raised to the 4 power equals 0 0.001. Six. I'll let you think of If you say zero point two, yeah, zero point two raised to the four power is uh, number five. So we have two solutions. 2 roots 0 0.2 and negative 0 0.2. Okay. Most of them, your problem are going to look like that. Find each real root. Square root of 49. 7, right? Why? Because 7 squared is 49. What about in number 6? If you said 9, then you did wonderful. 9 squared is 81. Yeah. Number seven, we have this negative. First, again, 
let's 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 see this table uh no, the last one eh? i put it here and we notice again d to the third power this thing is so basically now we know this one will be negative three, right okay the, the 27 is three over negative in front that is the answer what about this one what about number eight number eight you can see five to the third power five to the third power is 125 so cubic root of 125 will be five okay um, now let's take a look here i have a uh, that last table we see the perfect four power pattern right sometimes you may have fourth root of uh, let's say 16. four root of 16 is two why because two to the four power it's 16. and you can have also fifth root of 32. that will be also two because two to the fifth power is 32. so this type of table are very useful in case you need them write them down on your paper so you can use them later if you enjoyed this uh, video please don't forget to click the like button then write and come back and see square for more math video clips